Hi guys, a short video about tags. There is plenty of tags you can use to properly decorate uh, the the text displayed in your game. Uh, let's start with one of the most important one, which is a page separator. So let's say that you have a very very long text, and uh, and for some reason, well, it it just won't fit into one page. You have the at uh, object and actually as soon as you put the at you can see that the number of characters of use now is showing in a second version so th this little numbers at the top of this specific screen is, uh, is the, the number of character of that page so as we put the at it shows you now the number of character on that second page and if I put a s another at it will show you the number of characters for the third page so that's how you can even though you have a single box you can have multiple pages of text um, and the software will automatically add next and back button for, for those. Uh, this is, will be done automatically for you. If you have played the game, you have always also seen often uh, the fact that we have icons. So uh, to activate those icons, it's simple. So for example, if you want to have the uh, the home icon, typically you would say, well, it's time to go back to Scotland Yard uh, and show the home sign that is on the Scotland Yard uh, location card. Then this is how you will show it. You can obviously also say, let's say, for example, um, I think at some point in South Bank, if we uh, scan the character Mary, uh, we say, oh, here, my daughter lives in Greenwich. To do this properly in the way that the, the game design is done, it should say in Greenwich, location M. And so the way to show properly this location M is to write lock equal M and close this. This this will actually be replaced by a proper icon that shows uh, location and M as an icon. You can also just use lock to just show the location icon without stuff, but most of the time it's used like this, location equal M. Um, to do this properly, we should say we heard our daughter Colette character 04 lives in grid read location M. Uh, often it is very important to actually, uh, even though the character has been reintroduced, uh, to constantly attach a character number to a name because it's really hard for players which typically wi will not take notes. Um, I mean, they, some might actually take notes, but the game does not necessarily requires it. And so we have the, all this little uh, help and visual tip uh, to remind the player that yeah, Colette. By the way, you don't remember. You don't remember Colette. She's character number four. Character number four. Ah, that's her. Ah, yeah, yeah okay. She lives in Greenwich. Okay, sure. Uh, it's also when you when a player doesn't know Colette, it also uh, enables them to discover who is Colette, character number four. So to show that proper results, car zero four and location M. Now there is also the item. Right next, we have this. Mary has clearly been stabbed by that knife we found earlier. So uh, that knife actually is an item, and so you could actually write uh, item equal. As, uh, I don't remember what what's what's the item number actually. Let me quickly check. It's uh, it doesn't show us what's the item number for kitchen utensil, but typically we will need to show the uh, the item number for the utensil. Let's say that it's twenty three. Uh, so basically, Mary has been stabbed by that knife, item 23 we found earlier. Again, because we're talking about a specific card, it is important to remind player which card it is. And so for item, it's ITM equal. There is also category cards. Actually, item are special item. Uh, and they never go up to 23, it's, it's my bad. Actually, they go from 1 to 15 in the base game. Uh, and I don't think there's a, there's an item knife. However, there is a category card, Ustensil. So for the category card, it's cat. Cat equal 23, that we found earlier. Finally, you have some typical decoration thing that you can do. For example, you can do uh, B, Colette, character 04, slash B. Um, what it does is that anything between this B tag and this slash B tag will be put in bold. So the word Colette and this character will be put in bold. You have the same thing for Italic. So for example, if you say the victim's body 
and you want to uh, to write this in italic you can do i slash i and everything in between i and slash i will be put in italic and that is it this covers the most important tags you should be aware of and actually they are extremely crucial for the usability and the flow of the game so i really insist that you uh, try them there will be a full list of all those tags attached with this video uh, so don't hesitate to copy paste thank you so much for watching guys